they delivered to them for observance the decisions which had been reached by the apostles and elders who were at Jerusalem. So the churches were strengthened in the faith, and they increased in numbers daily. And they went through the region of Phrygia and Galicia, having been forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia. And when they had come opposite Mysia, they attempted to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow, allow, them, allow them. So, passing by Mysia, they went down to Thraso, and a vision appeared to Paul in the night. A man of Macedonia was standing, beseeching him and saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. And when he had seen the vision, immediately we sought to go on into Macedonia, concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to the Lord. Your response. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Your response? Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Know that He, the Lord, is good. He made us. We belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Your response? Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Your response? Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Acclamation. Dear friends in Christ, 
when we analyze our lives and see we love those who love we help those who help us but today's readings invite us to be like Christ Christ came to this world and he did the will of the father and he invites us to do the will of the father and he says in the gospel of Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 it is not all those who call to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven but those who do the will of the father who is in heaven and what is the will of the father that we see in the gospel of Matthew chapter 5 verse 44 I tell you love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be children of your father in heaven by doing the will of God will of the father we do the will of Jesus and by doing the will of Jesus in our daily lives by loving everyone and as St. Paul invites us in the first letter to the Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 give thanks to God at every moment this is the will of God for you in Christ yes why we should love our enemies when we think it looks like we are going to do something okay, which is not accepted by the society but it is a great opportunity why we should love our enemies because all those who consider us as enemies or whom we consider as enemies they are the great opportunity that they are giving to us they help us to be more closer to Jesus it is obvious that whenever we get into problems or whenever we lack something we go to Jesus and it is whom we call enemies they help us to go to Jesus and those who help us to go to Jesus we are invited or we supposed to thank them and we pray for them because they help us to go to Jesus secondly they are the ones who tell us whenever we do something wrong hey see that you have done this wrong and you are like this and it is an opportunity to correct ourselves and lead a life that is worthy of God and by doing all this we will be children of God because in the gospel reading we have heard that if the world hates you be happy because it hated me first it hated me first because I chose you Jesus has chosen each one of us and he has chosen us by name and he is our Lord and he is our mother he is our physician he is everything to us whatever the need that we want we go to Jesus and Jesus gives us therefore we ask during this Holy Eucharist that God gives us the grace to thank and grace to love our enemies by loving our enemies we will be leading a life that is worthy of God and we will be doing the will of the Father here on earth and be another Christ for everyone Amen
Play, brother, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and good of all this holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to Lord yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they are played. Remember also our brothers and sisters 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohes to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set you apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer for spiritual communion. Lord, as the centurion prayed, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We too, with total surrender, pray to you, Lord Jesus, though we are unworthy to receive you into our hearts, without considering our limitations. Lord, by your love and blessings, help us to remain faithful to you. Grant us the grace to live as your children, bearing witness to your gospel every day. Help us to live a life according to the will of God, the Father. Come and help us to do your good works. Free us from all danger and protect us from every mishappenings. Fill us with your love and faith. Amen. Father, I pray for them that they may be one in us, so that the world may believe it is 
you who sent me, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.